In this video, we're going to cover the topic graphing an exponential function and finding its domain and range. So the example is um, graph the exponential function g of x, which is the base 1 fourth raised to the power x minus 3. And the instructions state to do this, plot two points on the graph of the function and also draw the asymptote. Then click on the graph a function button. Additionally, give the domain and range of the function using interval notations. So all exponential functions should fill this table, negative one, zero, one, which does provide three points instead of two. Um, however, there's some special situations where you will only be able to get two values, and we'll, we'll talk about those in a little bit. Um, maybe not in this specific topic, but it will be addressed in a, in a future topic. So um, when you're trying to find um, the y value for x equal to negative one, you're essentially just plugging negative one into that g function. So you're replacing this x with this exponent. I typed this entire expression in my calculator. Um, on clear. So I did parentheses fraction one over four, close the parentheses, raise it to the negative one, get down and minus three, and I do get the value one. Similarly, I did the same computation for plugging in zero, plugging in one, and then I ended up with these y values. So those are the three points that I plotted on the graph. So you see those three points being plotted here. For you, you would plot them inside of Alex, okay? Now do notice that the graph of the function is shifted down three units. So normally, um, uh, exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote on the y-axis, but because the graph is being shifted down three due to this minus three outside the exponential piece, um, it is going to down go from being at y equal to zero to now being at y equals negative three. And so you do have to graph that asymptote on, on Alex in order for you to click the graph a function button and it actually draw the exponential graph, okay? Once you do have this graph in Alex uh, put in there correctly, remember to find your domain, which is the leftmost x value to the rightmost x value. This is going forever to the left, and this is going forever to the right, so it's negative infinity to infinity. Range is from the bottom to the top using y values. Well, this is going down, but only up into the asymptote, which is at negative 3. And it never touches the asymptote, so it has have a parentheses around the negative 3 but the y values do go up forever toward positive infinity. Okay, I think we have another example of this same topic before we move on to the next um, topic. So here, um, it's the same direction as before. We need at least two points, and then we need to draw the asymptote, and then we need to um, uh, hit the graph of function button and then give the domain and the range. So again, I'm trying to type in these x values. So I did plug all those into the functions. I typed everything in the calculator just as it was, and I ended up with these values here. So I'm plotting these three points. And those are the three points that you see there. Now this time, you actually don't have something that's being added or subtracted. So there's no up or down shift. If I was adding a number, that means this, this uh, horizontal asymptote would be going up however many units that number is. If it were minus a number, like in the previous example, then the horizontal asymptote is moving down that many units, okay? But since we don't have add or subtract over here outside of the exponential part, so this minus two is in the exponent. So it's part of the exponential part or term. We don't have an extra plus or minus constant on the side. So that's why there's no horizontal shift up or down. So therefore our asymptote is still going to be at y equals zero. Now, again, if I'm doing domain range, it's left to right x values, so left forever, right forever, negative infinity to infinity. For range, bottom to the top, this is the very, this orange line is the very bottom, but I can never touch it. So it's zero parentheses, but the y values do go up forever. So we have positive infinity there. Mm -hmm. 